If Satan can't stop God, and he can't, then he's going to try to lie to people about what God has actually done. And one of the things that Satan has tried to stop throughout the Old Testament period was the Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, coming into the world. He tried everything he could to stop that by corrupting mankind, by by corrupting the kings of Israel, the line of Judah, uh, anything and everything he could do, he tried, but he wasn't able to stop it. And so John chapter 1 and verse 14 tells us, the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And, And so God, the, the, the Lord Jesus Christ became a man in the incarnation. Well, since Satan couldn't stop it, since that point in time, he has tried to lie about it and to blind people to the truth of what God has truly done. Here's why. Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 14 says, For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same. That's talking about Jesus that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Satan knows that he is doomed because Jesus became a man, because as a man he defeated Satan, he lived a sinless life, and then he offered himself a sacrifice in the place of all of us. He became flesh and blood that he might destroy the devil. And now that that has happened, Satan tries everything he can to cover it up. Let me show you. When Jesus crosses the Sea of Galilee and comes to the area of the Gergesenes, he encounters these demon-possessed men. And they have a, a talk with him and they recognize him. Matthew chapter 8 and verse 29. And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus? Thou son of God, art thou come hither to torment us before the time? They know who he is. They know that he's the son of God. But do you know what they won't ever say? They won't ever call him the son of man. And that is one of the tests of the spirits that 1 John gives us, chapter 4. And verse 1, it says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist whereof ye have heard that it should come and even now already is it in the world. Can you see? The devils know that he's the son of God, but they cover up and try to hide the fact that he came in the flesh because it took a man to defeat Satan. You see, Satan duped the first man, Adam, into disobeying God, and he killed him. He killed him spiritually. And he has continued to dupe mankind by lying, by blinding mankind, by creating this incredible deception and doubt of God in our world. And that's his, his propaganda campaign that he runs all the time. But one of the things that he'll never admit to, that his devils will never admit to, is the fact that Jesus Christ came in the flesh and that as a man, he gave his life for all of us. And he shed his precious blood on the cross so that we could be forgiven. Listen, I want to encourage you this morning. It is so important that you and I understand and believe the incarnation, the fact that God became a man. The word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. If you want the grace of God, if you want the truth of God, you need to look to Jesus. You need to understand that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. John chapter 1, verse 1, and John chapter 1, verse 14. God bless you. Have a great day.